What's up everyone, Shiro here and welcome to a brand new Bleach Brave Souls video. Now for this video I'm doing something a little different than just the normal summons. I'm going to show you how my account looks and especially all the 6 stars that I've collected. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, I know a lot of you are also uh, free to play so you don't uh, buy any orbs. And uh, I want to give you a little bit of an impression about what you can get if you play this game for, like me, over a year. I think a year and three months now. And just show you which characters I have and uh, yeah, that you are able to build a really strong team that can do anything. Inheritance mode and uh, all the other uh, more difficult uh, stuff, the nightmare mode stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, my uh, green characters. Over here we have uh, Retsu, Swimsuit Retsu, we have uh, Rangiku, and we have Toshiro. Now these aren't that impressive. We have Green Kenny, which is still um, a very good unit to auto the Holo Ichigo Blue Raid. So um, equip him with, um, in my opinion, the best way to do it is um, the, the, the one that gives you the stamina back after uh, you uh, had one... Um, yeah, after you uh, finish one level and in the next level of um, uh, you will get a lot of stamina back so i have uh, most links the red two links are pretty useful they are 25 percent stamina recovery and if you use that then you can auto that rate and you can get a lot of five star characters and that way you can uh, upgrade them so yeah that's a little tip um again you say uh i don't know his name he's uh, one of the filler captains and over here we have Stark, of course. Um, was a pretty good unit back in the day, not that good anymore. Kensei, uh, Zambakto of Jushiro, don't know the names. Um, Riruka, Riruka is still very good. Um, some PvP teams use her, but in the higher leagues I wouldn't advise using her. We have Love, Ikaku. Um, he was in my PvP team for a while, but he's not that great. We have the plush version, the bunny rabbit version of Rukia. Um, I think she has the damage reduction, let me check, yeah, damage taken. So you can buy her and have your damage reduction team really good, so I would advise it. And then we have full bring Ichigo, which is my best green character at the moment. Um, yeah, he's just really good. If you don't have him, get him, of course. Um, we have one of the fractions from Halabel, Apache I think, uh, yeah Apache, uh, I got her recently, just a lucky uh, single I guess, uh, with the Manga Byakuya which is pretty good for the inheritance mode as well, I haven't tried him out but yeah because of the shield you have more survivability so my best two units in my opinion are now full bearing Ichigo and Byakuya and I don't have uh, that many other very strong green characters so yeah I should probably go for them now moving on to the hard characters we have the OG Byakuya and the OG uh, Ilkyura, Shinji Renji, Free Renji that you get of course, everyone has him. Zalaporo. I think I have Zalaporo leveled up pretty high. Can I see it somewhere? I think 4 out of 5 or something like that. It's pretty okay. Um, damage reduction uh, of, of uh, Kisuke. Kisuke, I have 3 Kisukes or even more, I think 4. You can use them for the crystal links and yeah, that's a really good way to uh, yeah do all those Frenzy uh, characters as well. Um, if you uh, use all your crystal links and you go in uh, with um, yeah all of those crystal links then it's really easy to do this kind of thing so yeah I would advise it um, then we have Ishin father of Ichigo also damage reduction very good I also used Genryu Sai uh, quite a lot it was pretty decent um, the hard version Shunsui, um, before the manga re uh, version was released, he was a pretty strong um, normal attack damage uh, character and I think he's still pretty decent at doing normal attack damage. We have Aizen, um, 
yeah, I, I spent a lot of orbs trying to get him. I first did it when the two times banner came out and after that I tried to get him um, when he was released, uh, I think a couple of months later. I was so happy that I got him, he was the only one I was missing from that banner, so yeah. And we have Muramasa, Muramasa is pretty decent, um, he's not the best, but he's pretty decent. And we have Sajin, it's not that good. And yeah, in my last summons I managed to get that cool looking Toshiro. I really like Toshiro, as you can see I'm trying to level him up uh, right now. I've leveled up all of my characters so far to 6 stars. So yeah, that's why I'm doing this uh, showcase and only showing these characters. Um, we have Cayenne. Now Cayenne is... Uh, I haven't tried him out that much, but I think he's, he's decent. And we have Stark, which is a pretty strong character. As you can see, I'm trying to get him up to level 200. Um, I really like uh, the design for uh, for Stark. He has the two laser swords, which look really awesome. And uh, I think he's a very strong character. For inheritance mode, he can be a bit tricky because he's a normal attack uh, character and he's not ranged. So that means you need some skill to dodge all those crazy attacks. And we have Majuri, and we have Frenzy Ukiora. So yeah, all in all, uh, well, let's go for the summary. I think the best ones are over here. Mm, I think OG Aizen, oh no, it's not OG Aizen, it's Hokaku Aizen is still pretty good. Shinshi is also decent. Muramasa is okay. Uh, Stark is probably one of my stronger characters, but what I lack is a really good strong attack um, character. I think the best one I have right now is the Toshiro, uh, this one. Um, I haven't tried him out that much, but I think he's pretty good at doing uh, inheritance mode and stuff like that, so yeah. I'm going to the red characters now. We have, of course, Kenny, which was an OG character. Um, and he is still up to this day a very good character to uh, yeah to play the game. Um, he's I think the most useful uh, old character in the entire game. Genryu Sai also pretty decent. Chat, which I think is pretty uh, useless. Sorry for the chat lovers, but I should really release a new chat version. I mean, come on, he only got the four star version, and yeah, I don't know, he, he deserves a new version, right? I uh, mean, he, he, he's all stuck with the old version and it's not that good, to be honest. And I don't know, I kind of would like to see a new chat version. Um, and let's see, we have Lisa over here in the Christmas. Now, she was a pretty decent uh, seasonal character because of her long range. I used her quite a lot and I didn't have that many good red characters. We have Soifong, Tom Barry's favorite, of course. And we have another damage reduction link in the form of Donda Chaka. And Donda Chaka is pretty decent um, at uh, in his damage uh, uh, taken attack. He's a very fun character. He's not a good character to use. Don't get me wrong. He's not a very good character. Now, this is one of my first five stars ever. So I use her quite a lot. Uh, it's Tobime. It's the Zanpakuto from uh, Momo. And uh, yeah. I, I don't know, uh, still uh, up until this day I think, yeah, she's pretty good, she's ranged and she's okay. And uh, I had to use her a lot. Um, and then we have the Sambakto from Renji, which is Zabimaru of course. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't think they are that good. Baragon, come on. Uh, the new Baragon that got released, I really would like him, I don't have him, but this Baragon is also very good. He was very good in PvP and PvE, ranged, he was very good when he came out, one of the more OP characters in the game. Um, we have the tag team version for Byakuya and Zenbon Zakara. Um, not that good, but pretty fun. I mean, I like both of those characters, so yeah. Uh, Rukia, I don't like her normal attack strength, she's okay. Rose, never used him before. Now this one, also very strong, Neutra, was one of my stronger uh, red characters for quite a while. Um, I did not have any good strong attack characters, but he was just so OP that there really was uh, no need for me to uh, 
yeah, need a strong attack character for the red inheritance mode or something like that. Um, he is very good at normal attack and his range is very good and he has a very decent strong attacks with a vortex so that way you are still able to do quite a lot of damage and gather the enemies around and you'll be able to finish them quite quickly. Now I also went for the swimsuit banner and I went for Nemu. And the reason why I went for Nemu was um, not because I'm a really big fan of the swimsuit characters, but because, like I said, I, I didn't have any very good strong attack characters, so she was my best bet, and she's also a healer. So yeah, together with Neutra, it was pretty good for inheritance mode. And then, luckily, I finally got him. Or finally, it's the second uh, banner I tried it on, and I got the Toshiro, and I was so happy. He's my favorite character to use right now. I mean, I really like the design. He looks really awesome. Um, and he is crazy strong. He really is. In PvP, everyone uses him. And PvE, he just wrecks through. So if you have him, you are very lucky. And if you don't have him yet, do everything you can when the banner drops to get him. Because he is insanely strong. The reason why I'm saying this is because that freeze that procs all the time. I mean, he freezes a lot of times with his strong attacks and he has the same insane um, strong attacks like Shunsi, for example, the manga version, which has, uh, he hits so many times, does so much damage. And with the uh, cooldown reduction for his uh, strong attacks, he can keep using them. He's just very OP, very OP. Now we have Byakuya and we have um, the Frenzy version of Orihime. Uh, which aren't that good to be honest but they're decent links so yeah okay let's see the blue versions we have Yorichi, Neliel, now I used Neliel this one a lot as well because uh, yeah I, I thought she was pretty decent she, I managed to do the Aizen raid with her um, so yeah I, I still like her um, we have the young version of Neliel uh, damage reduction, so it's very good to get her as well. And if you, you can always get three of of her if you don't have enough damage reduction, and you can use it to, um, yeah, fire up your uh, your other characters. I have Jishiro. Now Jishiro was pretty good uh, back in the day uh, when the banner dropped. He was the one I was uh, I missed out on, on the double chance banner, but I managed to get him in a filler banner anyway, so I'm pretty happy with that. I haven't leveled him up yet because, well, he isn't... Uh, I did do him until uh, 150, but I didn't uh, level up his soul tree yet. Maybe I'm going to do it just to give him a little uh, tryout. Now we have Dangai Ichigo. Um, still very good character, a bit outdated right now because there are so many strong blue characters in this entire game. So yeah, um, he's still okay, I guess. If you uh, if you level him up, um, or if, you, if you use the right items on him and you use the right um, uh, attack links, if you it's all strong attack, of course. I think it's strong attack, right? Uh, and he does have the normal attack damage. Uh, I, I wouldn't really consider him a normal attack damage. So yeah, he's okay. Um, we have Rangiku, tag team version with um, I forgot her name, it will come to me, Heiniko of course, yeah. So with Heiniko, uh, she's pretty good to be honest, uh, because of the cooldown reduction you can use her strong attacks quite a lot of time, so she's decent. And we have Broken, now Broken is broken, so he's the best uh, character to use in PvP, I think maybe. Toshi Rose a little better, but the reason being, of course, as everyone, anyone knows, he can buff up his um, his attacks and those of his teammates by 30%, and he has damage reduction. He's just insanely strong. Um, over here we have, uh, I think it's Jaiko, yeah, oh, Jachuri, yeah, sorry, Jachuri. Um, I haven't used her up uh, quite a lot, um, and I don't plan on using her uh, a lot either i think she's pretty decent but i'm just going to level her up because there are so many strong blue characters i don't think it's she yeah i can use her now we have yami yami is not that good tosin now tosin is pretty good i do want to level up his soul tree um i did level him up up to 150 to get the orbs but that's it 
and we have Anniversigo. Now, whatever anyone says, he's also a very strong character, not for PvP because the, the charge up attack doesn't work that good, but for PvE he's a beast, complete beast. And his stats, yeah, they are insane and he's ranged. So in my opinion, I don't have Shunsui, so I really would like to try out both of them, but I think he is almost on par with Shunsui manga version. Maybe even better because of his range. Um, and he's just yeah, a really fun character to use. Just charging up that attack, doing the first wave and after a while, bam, second wave. Really good. We have Halib Halibel or Haribel, how you say it? I think Halibel, right? Yeah, Halibel. Um, decent, not that good. And we have two Frenzy characters. And the link for Frenzy Rukia is very good for honoring raids. Now, Bleach Cowboy did a video on that. I would suggest watching it. Very good YouTuber, by the way. Um, and uh, he just shows that when you use her, and also the link with Majuri, the Mayuri, both of them you can uh, have a lot of st status ailments um, yeah almost nullified so that makes it very easy to uh, auto most raids because the problem with autoing raids is of course that you get fire or poison or uh, or paralyzed and with the rukia link and the muri link you can prevent that from happening so yeah that's pretty good and last but not least we have orange now orange was one of uh, of the uh, i was a little bit weaker on the orange side uh, i didn't have that many good characters i have uh, aizen um, and i have ishida jushiro uh, mayuri uh, i did use the tessai a lot too uh, back in the day i used him in my pvp team uh, together with baragon it's pretty cool it was all ranged uh, team so all of them just attacked from a distance and then damage reduction wasn't a big thing so it was a pretty fun team to use i really like him to be honest now here we have uh, the man himself Ichigo and still very cool looking design and character all in all I really like him um, he's I don't think he's, he's is that good anymore um, he was pretty good when he came out but yeah I guess time uh, has changed that a bit especially as his Sajin showed up now I had a lot of these Toshiro I don't like the design for his face I mean they should really change it up if they make a new Toshiro, um, the old version, the younger version. Please change that strange looking face because I don't think it fits and it looks outdated. So change it, Kayla, please. Same thing with Byakia, by the way. Don't like it. Anyway, I have him uh, maxed out and 5 out of 5. Ah, there you can see it. Um, so he was one of my um, uh, boss killers. I used him uh, to... Uh, freeze uh, the boss and then attack with whatever I had um, left and I didn't use Toshiro for that I used another character for that so he was pretty good at freezing and doing a lot of damage Jumichika and uh, Riru Iru Kujak I hope I'm pronouncing that right um, no not that good and we have the Zanpakuto from uh, Shunsui which is Kaiten Kyoketsu um, uh, I haven't used her that much and I haven't leveled her up, so I can't really say about that one. We have Tobime and uh, Momo. Uh, I haven't tried them out, they are pretty okay. I, I tried them out back in the day a little bit. I think they are, they are pretty good. Yeah, I, I had to rely on her because I didn't have any other strong attack uh, characters. Um, now we have Soifong and also the tag team version with uh, I'm going to take a look here I can see what her name is okay I forgot uh, I'll, it will come to me um, and then we have Nemu Nemu has a really good poison uh, reduction so you can 100% poison reduction also good for autoing raids uh, we have the Byakia full bring version which is a pretty cool and interesting character not that great I really like the design on him come on he looks awesome Thank you, Caleb, for changing the face. Thank you. Do the same for Toshiro now. And we have Grimjo. Uh, I, I haven't got him in out of a banner. I got him when I get to pick in the second anniversary, where you get to pick uh, which attribute you wanted. Now, like I said, my orange game wasn't very strong, so I decided to go for an orange character. 
which I did. And I got the beast himself. He's a very good character. I used him on PvP. He's very good. And his link is very useful. Damage taken 20%. So after that, I uh, after I got on him, my team got a little bit stronger. And then we have um, Arinero. And Arinero is a little bit of a hidden gem from what I heard. I haven't tried him out uh, that much myself, but he's a very good. Uh, he seems to be a very decent character. Uh, maybe I should try him out because he, I think he's strong attack damage. Yeah, the soul trait kind of puts me off the poison duration. I mean, it's a okay soul trait for ordering raids, perhaps because it's but it's it's not that 100%. So, but I still hear it. He was pretty good at strong attack. So yeah, I'm going to try him out. Um, and luckily, after a little while, my uh, orange team actually got pretty strong. So yeah, as you can see, I now have Sajin, and I have Sajin uh, in my PvP team. I also managed to get an orange golden chappy. So yeah, that makes him very strong. He's an insanely strong character to use. Very fun. I really like the design. He's an awesome addition to Bleach Brave Souls. I got the new Shinji from the last banner. Now I like him, I like the design, I like his strong attacks, he isn't crazy OP but he's pretty good, especially since I don't have that many strong attacks so I would prefer using him uh, above uh, Arinero. And we have, what's he called, Akon, yeah. Crystal Link again. If you don't have any Crystal Links, I suggest getting three of him. Um, because the more Crystal Links you have, the easier it gets to playing this game and collecting your materials to level up your characters. You get uh, double Crystals and Jewels, or no, you get a percentage more Crystals and Jewels and it's really worth it. Frenzy Ichigo, also one of the characters I got. Um, Maybe the first? When I started playing, I, I guess Ferenc Ichigo was one of those characters that I leveled up first. And afterwards I got Momo. And we have Frenzy uh, Grimjo. Now, I really, really dig the design for Grimjo. I, I like this better than his released version. I just really think he looks awesome with the broken jaw on the side and things. And I really hope they make a really cool 6 star, very strong OP version for him as well. So yeah! Really fast uh, uh, forward through the uh, entire roster for my six star characters. Now I'm not going to show you the four or the five star characters because you, you really don't use them in game. And like I said, I leveled up all my five star characters already. So there's really no need for me to show you um, uh, the five star characters uh, that you get because I'm not going to use them in game anyways because they are a lot weaker than six stars. So yeah, that's why. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it was a little bit of a thank you uh, because all of you uh, were very kind in commenting on my videos and subscribing. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I thought, let's do something different. Let's do something back and show you all what you can get if you are free to play player in this game. Um, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, look forward to more Bleach Brave Souls videos. I am going to summon on the mid-month gacha that is going to drop. Um, and I'm very excited for it. So I just saw the gameplay and it looks really cool. Um, I wish you all a very good day. And I'm signing off. Bye bye.